Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Chris. Welcome to the first <laughs> Welcome to the first video in my Plants vs. Zombies campaign playthrough. This game is so fucking awesome. Basically, this game I've been playing this game for a long time on my iPad now, and I wanted to do a recording on that, but I don't even think there's a way to record an iPad, you know, without using a camcorder away from it, which looks like shit. So, I decided to finally buy this game for PC. And, um, the PC actually has a couple extra options that the iPad and the iPhone and stuff like that are lacking. So, this will be the first time for me to experience those. Basically, this game is a tower defense game and where in that, um, <laughs> you, you are the plants or you have plants to defend your home against an invasion of zombies coming onto the screen from the right side and you are protecting your lawn and your backyard and eventually your roof from the zombies. This shit is so fucking fun. So let's go ahead and start. I I started, I got about 10 seconds in so you guys have not missed anything pretty much except for a small cutscene at the very beginning. Let's see if I can see if I can get that. Nope, just gets the front lawn. But basically this is how it works. This is your your area to mess with, and let's see. I guess this is a, a legit tutorial. Now I've been doing this using you know my fingers to play the game, so it's gonna be kind of weird going from to a mouse. But um, it looks like it's much smoother than it is on the iPad. So basically, this is the general idea of the game. Zombies advance stop them from advancing and you're good and you get a little lawnmower here that changes to like a um I wonder what they're called like I don't know um but basically once they advance to this point for most of the zombies that is there's a couple who can pass by these things but for most of them who advance this far uh, it will mow down it's like a, a one-time use and it will mow down the row that you um, you know get you get sabotaged. However, if they advance past that point again, it's game over. They eat your brains, and I hope I will never have to show you that. So, basically, I just got a new flower. This is like the the lifeblood for the daytime stages. It gives you additional sun. You need that. I wonder how many of these little intro tutorial type levels there are. There we go. Get a little bit wider. Yes, they are. I know they're extremely important. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to plant more than three of them. Basically, they pop out a little bit extra sun. And once you get a bunch of these, as you can imagine, it would severely aid your, you know, your sun growth. Wow, this is this feels a lot different playing it on PC. Look at that. Basically, this game is this game is so goofy. I mean, the idea, the the premise of it, is just so startling at first. Like Plants vs. Zombies. Are you kidding me? But shit works, and it's very fun. Probably my favorite tower defense game. Very close with um. Crystal Defenders, or I think it's called Crystal Defenders, but that's a um, that's a SquareSoft tower defense game with like Final Fantasy characters and stuff like that. And that's a good one, but this one's so so much deeper. It's not even funny. And basically, I mean, this is just the the very beginning, but shit gets real. Shit gets real later on. Definitely easier to do on iPad though because I can stretch my fingers across the screen and plant these, plant these things instantaneously. Basically, later on, sometimes I'll even get three rows of these bad boys going. Shit is unstoppable. But there's so many different types of zombies and plants later on, so there's so much replayability. I'll play through this game tons of times just to just to experiment with different combinations and challenge myself see how see how I can beat a level handicap myself Brains. 
Oh, that's a fun card. That card is an explosive. It's bad. <laughs> Alright, so you can see the zombies get a little bit of upgrade. They got the traffic cone on their head. They are harder to kill. Not that much harder to kill, but substantial amount. They could take quite a few more hits. God, this is so smooth on PC compared to the iPad. I mean, it still looks good on the iPad. And the iPad's in uh, HD, so it's maybe a little bit cleaner looking around the edges, but this moves so much, so much more smoothly. Alright, time to get this guy going. I highly re recommend anybody who has an interest in tower defense games to buy this. Now. This game gets so fun. Hopefully we get a little bit more action in the early going to persuade you guys that it is in fact a hell of a game. Brains. <laughs> they want to eat your brains with passion. trying to remember exactly how many different types of cards there are and I'm not sure if the PC actually adds cards or it just adds a new mode called a um, Zen Garden or something like that I haven't had the opportunity to, to use it yet so I'm very excited to do that yeah I mean I have this game on PC iPad and I iPhone now so I definitely definitely got my worth out of it then again and being in Tokyo, I'm probably on the train more than anybody not living in a big area like New York City. So I have a lot more time to play something like this. Let's go ahead and stack these rows. Fuck it. Might be able to get three rows of four. But what a goofy idea that could be so entertaining, isn't it? I mean, plants versus zombies. When I heard about it, I was like, what the fuck is this shit? And I kind of like shunned it away because I thought it, it just sounded so ridiculous. But once I saw it in action, I was like, I'm getting that right now. And I did not regret it. So much strategy in this game, too. This guy's your first wall. Come on, give me five rows. There we go. Let's do this thing. You can later on you can buy upgrades too from the cash that you get. Like you can buy a rake. Which is a very small amount of cash, but it it uh, effectively disables the first zombie that you encounter by um, <laughs> he steps on the rake. It automatically goes where he goes at the beginning of the stage. Basically, the pre pre-designed pre pattern by the computer, and it smacks him in his mouth and knocks his head off. It's fucking hilarious. I wonder if there's an option to speed up gameplay on the PC. I can make for some challenging tower defense style. <laughs> this game is funny as shit. What am I doing? I could have been planning that right, right away. I don't claim to be extremely good at this game. Although, I mean, it's not really the hardest thing in the world for me to for me to beat its campaign mode Let's 
couple times you make the wrong the wrong card selections and you're boned straight up. Why didn't I put that up there? Fail. Hurry up. <laughs> Alright, I can show you what one of these guys does. It's just to show you, that's, that's a horrible placement. But basically they just eat away at him and you can take it for, for a minute, to say the least. He has basically three stages. He's got this little happy-go-lucky stage. They get him down a little bit, and you can see that his um, his demeanor has changed slightly. <laughs> a little bit more worried. And then um, he has one more stage where he's looking absolutely fucked beyond belief. Probably going to see it pretty soon. I think there it is. Well, I guess his demeanor didn't really change, but he's <laughs> nonetheless in, in some shit. <laughs> but basically, zombies, the next upgrade you're going to see probably is them with a, a metal pail on their head. And those guys actually take a substantial amount of damage before they go down. So you need a little more than just these these little single pea shooters. Maybe these single pea shooters would do fine, but you're going to need like a row of three of them. To really, to really put the hurting on uh, the zombie with the metal pail on his head. And plants don't take a whole lot of abuse before they go down. They go down pretty quick if they're getting directly attacked. Just wait till later. Some of these zombies you're gonna see, just like, what the fuck? And that's all she wrote. A second or two. There we go. Shovel. Shovel allows you to, if you made some errors, it allows you to erase a plant and make room for another plant. What have we here? Oh yeah, the crazy neighbor. Crazy Dave. Okay, I think we'll do that, Crazy Dave. Let's get a surprise. But first, we'll need to clear out the lawn. Use the shovel and dig up those plants. Let the digging commence. Blah. 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 We're going bowling. Oh, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> basically, we use those walnuts. But basically, the way this works is obviously you can see this thing slowly rolling this way. So you get the regular walnuts and you get the explodo nut. So basically, you just lay it down and it bowls its way across the screen. And these ones, as you can see, they're a little more explosive, but the guy had a traffic cone on his head, so he took one more cone. But basically, these guys are going to get clustered up here at some point, so you can use the walnut to bounce in between them, place it correctly. No such luck in this placement, but there'll be plenty more. There we go. I think I just found one. Might be able to bounce this off that guy and hit the other guy with the cone. Yes, sir. I save up our exploder nuts for a good time. That looks like one right there. Might be able to take all four of these guys. Yes. Success. <laughs> Man, this is a cool game. That was a bad placement. I suppose I could let him walk up a little bit. <laughs> this game is so cool. Alright. Just let them get clustered. Fuck all their shit up. There we go. That should hit a few. No, it only hit like two. Sound effects kill me. It's the best part. It should hit. Big old group right there. 
and there's all she wrote. That's another great card. Basically, it's a mine. You plant it, and it takes a little bit of time to come up. But when it does come up, basically, it's like, it's a one-shot. Oh, yeah. This fucking athletic zombie here. All right, we'll do this one last stage, I think, depending on how long it takes. Then I will end this video. Hopefully, you guys are looking forward to more, some more Plants vs. Zombies. This game is so awesome. I can't sing its praises highly enough. Basically, when I get this guy, I find out where the first zombie is and I just plant this right away. Because the earlier you plant this, the more time you get for it to recharge so you can plant it again. There's also a couple other cards that only cost like 50 sun. And you can plant them quick. And then it gives you a lot more time to make your moves. Let this guy just proceed across the screen at his leisure. I'm aware that's not the proper way to say leisure, but that's how I say it. See, the faster you plant these, the more time you have to plant the other ones too. So, basically it's on you. How fast do you want to prepare at the very beginning? Spadao achievement, huh? Let's go check that out a little bit later. I don't remember the iPad. The iPad one didn't have like achievements that popped up so so flamboyantly <laughs> on the screen. At least I don't remember. It's been a long time since I had the ability to get achievements in the iPad version. All right, let's start marking our territory. Later on, you can actually get double plants. They cost 150 sun, but you plant them on top of these plants, and they give double sun every single time. So once you get an army of those guys going, of course it takes one more card slot. But once you get an army of those guys going, you got tons of sun. Basically, I can't I can't plant these guys fast enough to get rid of all the sun that I'm intaking, taking in. There he is. This guy's an athletic beast. Try to take him down before he gets close. If he does get too close, I'm just gonna drop a drop the hammer on him with the cherry bomb. Damn it. Didn't think he was gonna get um, advanced that far. I could have just dropped a walnut somewhere up here and kept him from really doing anything, but he didn't really do shit anyway, so. Basically, there's a there's a taller version of the walnut that you can get later on, and when you get that, he he tries to pull vault over it, and uh, no such luck. He pull vaults right into it, and then just proceeds to try to eat that guy. But he's a defensive beast, so it gotta be there for a minute. There we go. Put the hurt on him way before he can get up close. do this for the fuck of it. Damn, he did manage to get over it, but he's dead in a second. I always like to get like an even row too. Yes, you get the ice card actually pretty pretty useful pretty useful card it can slow them down it very very much um how long has this video been going i think we could do this next level now i'll do one more level We're about 18 minutes or so according to my timer and i'll show you guys the snow pee snow pee okay He's right there. You can see him right there. So, let's throw it right here. I can go into the shop and try to buy buy a rake. It's not really necessary. Once you go through the game once, though, the the crazy neighbor dude, he actually um, 
it's kind of like a handicap it was for the ipad version at least where like they pick the first three cards for you at random later on you get like up to access up to nine or ten cards something like that but they'll pick the first three cards for you at random and usually not something you need so kind of like a handicap makes it a lot more challenging it's very entertaining that way Once I get two rows of these guys going, I'm going to start throwing down the snow peas. Ah, we could throw them around right now. Look at that. Look how slow he's moving now. That's what I'm talking about. Snow peas aren't the cheapest, but they are definitely worth it. Ah, I planted that in the wrong place. get a snow pea up and then I'll put a, a regular pea. Pea shooter. Slow down, sir. You shall not pass! <laughs> I'm a nerd. Oh shit, this is going to be long level too, so I guess this first video is going to be a long one. Ah, uh, well. Some of the some of the levels later on take like at least 10, 10 to fifteen minutes anyway. So so um, let me know what you guys think of this. Does this game look awesome or what? Really hope you guys think it looks cool. It's a lot of fun to play. I hope you guys go out and buy it. Let's go ahead and. Take this faggot down. Brags. <laughs> These zombies like aren't even menacing, so I can't even hate them. I think that's the that's the appeal of the game because it's such a like non-threatening look. But really, if they get past past your defenses, they'll eat your they'll fucking eat your brains, man. Of course they don't show it. This is a child's game. <laughs> Things like that are censored. If you hadn't if you haven't gathered it by now, you can see the level guide at this point, level progress bar, and these flags are when large amounts of zombie waves come at you. And at first at first it's it, like like right now it doesn't seem like all that impressive a number. But later on, <laughs> shit's real. Especially once they start throwing three to four different types of zombies and you need certain cards to combat those zombies. Like there's a zombie later on that holds a screen door, like it's kind of like a screen door over his chest. And you need a certain zombie that shoots through the screen door to be a, to be 100% effective against them, of course you can bring them down with large amounts of other cards that are not necessarily all that effective against them, but it really is to strengthen numbers at that point. But you are much more effective when you have the weakness of these zombies as you would expect. I try to challenge myself later on by not using the the snow peas so much. Later on, they get the they get double pea shooters. These guys sh that shoot two peas at once, and then um, the 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 upgrade to that is a one that's kind of like a machine gun. I forget what it's called, like the repeater or something like that. It basically has like a Gatling gun mouth, and he shoots four at once. And then to tie uh, to pile onto that, you can place a plant like a flaming plant in front of them and then these these peas turn to um, flaming peas and do a lot more damage so that's probably my my favorite thing to do although it's not the most effective I mean it's very effective don't get me wrong but it, it's not the most it's not the end-all be-all power strategy for this game but um, basically it's got like four flaming peas going right at the zombies 
It's pretty awesome. This card is cool. Basically, you put it out in front. If a zombie gets close, he chomps him, but he takes a while to, to swallow him, and then um, he's vulnerable while, vulnerable while chewing. It takes him like 30 seconds to chew through a guy or so, and then he's ready to get the next one. All right. That's, um, yeah, I'm going to stop the video here. It's been almost 25 minutes. There's the zombie with the pail on his head, and at this point, you can see once you pass the initial amount of cards, you can um, pick and choose what works for you. Main menu. Let's see if, um, yeah, the store is not open yet, but let's go ahead and check that one achievement. Blow up a zombie using a potato mine. And, um, oh yeah, if you scroll all the way to the bottom here, <laughs> you can actually go to the other side of the world and see the, the Chinese zombies. It's fucking awesome. A lot of scrolling. Anyways, this is Plants vs. Zombies. I fucking love this game. I hope you guys think it's cool. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.